Hey, it's time to dish with D. That's me. This has been a very requested video. You guys wanted to hear my opinion on tracking. The importance, the non-importance. The drudgery, the excitement. You know, what, you know, what is my 1040 on that? Where's it 1020? I'm not sure what it's called. I'm a tracker. I like to track. I don't like to track. Well, I shouldn't say I like to track. I need to track. I never was a tracker up until about two and a half years ago when I really started to lose weight. I mean, every time I joined Weight Watchers, I would lose 50 pounds. Now, granted, I had 100 pounds to lose, but I would always lose 50 and be done with it. But when I finally stuck it out and I got past that 50 pound mark and kept losing, the difference was tracking. I'm a girl who's been overweight for 40 plus years. That's just my nature. My nature is to eat. And my nature is to eat and not really realize how much I'm eating. I, I'm a blind eater. I'm a mindless eater. And I just, and I just throw things in my mouth. And if I didn't track, I would gain. I know I would. I, I track to eat better and eat more. Because if I didn't, I, sometimes I wonder if I wouldn't eat enough. Like, because if I don't remember that I might be too afraid to eat. But I, I, people say I don't want to track for the rest of my life. Do you want to gain your weight back for the rest of your life? Do you want to be heavy the rest of your life? See, that's the things I think about. Um, it takes me two seconds to track. It's not like it's going to take me 20 minutes each time. It doesn't. Because the more you do it, the quicker you become. I mean, I don't, I sit there and this is, this is my tracking. I think I've talked about, I do the quick ad. Sometimes I, well, if it's something I could scan, then I scan it. But normally it's the quick ad. I know, like, if I'm having a sandwich or a wrap, I know my wrap is two points. I know my turkey is zero. I know my lettuce and tomato is zero. I know I might have to put a little bit of mayo. Am I putting enough to count? Most times I don't. But maybe I'm putting a dressing on there, like some avocado, that I'll probably measure out for a point. So then I know that that wrap is three points. So I just put wrap three chips. I know how much my chips are because I have the same ones. Two points of chips or three points, depending on what bag I have. So I know chips, two points. Or I scan the little bags and I just zap it in there. Breakfast. Oatmeal. My oatmeal is always five points on blue. If I was on purple, it would be one point. I know this because this is the stuff I have regularly. Oatmeal, one point if I'm on purple. Oatmeal, five points if I'm on blue. I'm done. Was that daunting? No, it took me all of two seconds to do it. Because the more, especially when you're eating a relatively the, the, a routine, like, you know, spin of things. Like, there's breakfast that I have. You know, it's a rotation. Oatmeal, eggs, French toast, pancakes, my little loaf, um, bagel sandwich, my homemade bagel. <laughs> Not a Thomas's bagel. A homemade two-ingredient dough bagel for three points. A or, or a two-point English muffin sandwich. I know one slice of Canadian bacon is zero and three slices is one point. I know the chicken sausage is two, two links for one point. Like you eat this, enough of this and you know what they are. It's not like you're looking, oh God, how much is that sausage? You know how much that sausage is. You have it once a week. You know one slice of bacon is one point. So you sit there and you figure out, well, it's in my other, and just put it in, omelet, two points. You know how much cheese, you know how much a point of cheese looks like after using it for so often. Do I weigh and measure? Most things I do, but things like, we'll say, cheese in an omelet. No, I'll grab a pinch, and I know that's a zero point amount of cheese. Uh, I'm not having a quarter cup. I'm not a huge cheese person anyway, but if I have a baby bell, then I know it's a point. You know what thing, if you, if you follow the plan long enough, you know what the points are. And people say, what about tracking calories? I'm not a, I know a lot of people do. And like I say, whatever floats your boat, then do it. If tracking calories floats your, floats your boat, then track calories. I'm a points tracker. It's easier for me to track points. It's something that has become second nature. And I tell you this because I wasn't always a tracker. But once I really got into it, I really got into it. And now it's so innate to just do it that I, I do it before I eat. If I'm sitting down, 
whenever, sometimes I, and you see I film my food, so most times it's already in my track before I even film. It's that fast. It's not anything that's overwhelming. I always try to track before I eat so I don't forget. Because let me, I might have forgot I had a cream sauce on top of my roast beef. I might remember I had roast beef and potatoes and carrots, but I had a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a sauce on top. I might not remember that. Or maybe I won't remember that I happen to have a little roll with dinner because I don't always have rolls, but sometimes I do. So I need to track it as I'm sitting there. You cut it, you're eating, you just pick up your phone, you track. It takes you no time at all. And you hear the old, oh, am I going to have to be tracking for the rest of my life? I think I said that already, but that doesn't bother me. That never, I never even thought about that. Like, oh, because if, I just think of it, it's something that you keep doing. You just keep doing. And there's no way in God's green earth that if I stopped tracking, I would stay this weight. Oh no, it would not be pretty. I remember before I had left Weight Watchers when I was at a really big plateau for, it was like a six month plateau. You lose and gain the same five pounds over and over again. You've all been there. Well, I finally decided I'm not paying them. To, I know, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave. I know what I'm doing since I basically maintained, which I did. I should be fine. Well, I thought I was doing well. I remember we would go out to eat. I would order really well. I remember, and then I decided, um, my fr friend, you know, Joan wanted to go back and asked if I would go with her. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I probably should. I, I really think I, cause I knew the new program was out. I knew I wanted to see what it was about. And when I got weight, I was shocked to see I'd gained 25 pounds back. I was like, not that I didn't, I knew I gained, I didn't think I gained 25 pounds. I'm like, I thought I was doing good. Yeah, I wasn't. Because realistically, you don't unless you're accountable. And for people, like, I can see people that maybe are losing baby weight and stuff like that, you know. For, for us long haulers who've had weight for a long time, I think you're always going to be apt to overindulge. It's just part of innate in you. At least it's innate in me. So I know I have to be accountable. If I can't be accountable at a meeting, I need to be accountable to the app. And, you're, yeah, you're tethered to your phone. So I'm tethered to my phone. I'm still within the weight I want to be. So if that, if tethering myself to my phone gives me that, then, hey, I'm good. I'm good at that. I mean, you need, I think a lot of us need the accountability. You need to be accountable to someone, whether it be the app, whether it be a meeting, whether it be something you have to be, you have to, because when you say it out loud, it becomes real. When you put it in print, it becomes real. When you put it in there that you had that roll and you look at your points and you look like you took off some of your weeklies, you're apt to be better the next day because you overindulged. Even if it was a few points. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't squibble over points, but you, you, you'll think twice the next day because you knew what you ate the day before. And if you don't write it down, you don't know. And you, and it doesn't become real until it's in print. I'm telling you, that made the difference in my weight loss journey. Coming on this YouTube channel and telling you how much I weighed, that was life-changing for me because nobody ever knew what I weighed. Nobody. But when I came on here, and I remember I wasn't going to say it. I don't think I did in the beginning. And the one time on a vlog, I just said it. And I was like, I said it. That was the most freeing feeling ever because I held it in. And I, it was like, it was almost keeping me prisoner, I think. When you release things good things happen. And I then became accountable out loud because I admitted what I weighed. I, I think then I was 185 pounds, I believe, when I admitted that. Of course, when I was 270, 185 sounded like a swimsuit model in my book. So it's kind of easy. But when, when my family knew where I started, they never knew. Yet they knew I lost 80 years. At that point, it was probably like 80 pounds. So they had to always had to be up there. But I guess you don't really think about it. You know, you don't really think about it. And when they're like, you weighed what? 270 pounds. I weighed as much as my six foot husband. And I'm not six foot. I am just under five four. Yeah. And he's got, what, six inches on me? Maybe seven? So that's huge. And I carried all my weight in my chest and stomach area. 
And so I was very, you see pictures, I'm very round. And in my neck, I mean, I had a huge, like my neck was out to here. It didn't feel that big at the time, but I guess when you look back and you're like, ooh, it kind of was big. But yeah, and saying that, I feel like it helped, you know, you, you, you lied to the DMV. DMV never knew what I weighed either because I wasn't writing it down because it wasn't, I didn't own it. And now I say, what the, I go to the DMV and I tell them what I weigh, you know, I'm proud of my, you know, my weight. Because, and, and my weight, like I said, people look at me like, you're proud of that? You really could use another 20 pounds. You know what? You can think all you want. I'm happy with what you have to be happy in your own skin. No, it's nobody's skin but yours. You have to be happy. You have to live with it. And you have to be able to maintain it. And if tracking gives you that, that two seconds before you eat, you then what's the harm in it? It's accountability. You have to know what you eat. Especially if you had a really big breakfast or lunch. Yeah, I had a sandwich. But I didn't realize there was cheese in that sandwich. There was pastrami in that sandwich. That sandwich was grilled in butter. So think about that sandwich. That sandwich that you didn't think was that bad. In reality, isn't. But in the weight version of it, in our light, healthy lifestyle, that's a killer. You know, you've, you know it's still just a sandwich. I didn't have fries. Well, you didn't have any points for fries because you know what that bread costs. You know what that cheese costs. You know what that butter costs. So if you put it all in there, you know. So when dinner comes, you know how to adjust your day. If you didn't put it in, you could think, oh, I had a sandwich. That wasn't too bad. I had a sandwich at lunch. That wasn't just a sandwich. That was a sandwich. So there's the difference. You're, and let me tell you something. I have selective memory when it comes to things. I do. So tracking when I eat puts it in there, puts it in there for me. So I know when I go to dinner, I know what I have left to spend. And that doesn't always necessarily mean that I'm going to spend that amount. I may go over. It's all right. But at least I know for the next day what I spent. You have to, and don't rely on your head. I don't know about you, but my memory sucks. It does. So I need to have, need to go back and look, why don't, don't I have that many weeklies? Oh, Tuesday, I forgot I had that Boston cream pie. It was good, but you don't, it's, and sometimes we eat things so fast that we don't remember them because we scarf them down. I am Denise and I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of scarfing down food and not remembering it. If you didn't sit there and savor it, you really probably aren't going to remember it. But if you wrote it down and you all of a sudden you looked at your, why are my weekly so low? Now you'll remember why. So those are my, my reasons for tracking. And I hope that helped you out. And, and like I said, don't feel like, oh, I have to track for the rest of my life. If that's what you have to do to maintain your loss, I think that's a small price to pay. Quite honestly, would you rather be struggling, you know, back at 50 pounds above where you're at? Who wants to be back where you were when you struggled to be so hard to where you wanted to be? Remember being 50 pounds heavier or anything? Oh, if I could just be that. Well, you are there. You have to work to keep there. Some of us have to work at it. I know there's people that don't have to work at it. And I think we're jealous of those. I know I am like, well, she can eat whatever she wants. And yeah, she can. That doesn't mean we can. You know, that's just the hand we're dealt. But we have tools now. We have electronic devices that could make our tracking like that imagine having to get the little thing and write it down i mean not that you, you know people do still people like to do that and I, that's good but we have the option to and it's in so if is too much for you let's have a conversation because you need to give you know you know being on maintenance there are certain things that are required and tracking to me is one of them I, tracking doesn't, like I said, it just doesn't, I don't, I get, I don't understand why some people get so overwhelmed by that. I think because you need to simplify it. Simplify it. Use your quick ad. The quick ad's your friend. You know what? My omelet, omelet, six points. You sit there, you're putting it together. As you're cooking it, you could add the points up and just go in there, omelet, six points. Well, omelet shouldn't be six points, but if you put potatoes in there, maybe it is. And there's a thing, like you put a little oil in there. Yeah, it's a little bit of oil. Yeah, I don't quibble over oil, but some people do. Some people need to track every little thing. Do it and be done with it. So that is my opinion on tracking. I am a tracker. Never was. Have been the last, I say, two and a half years. 
and it made the difference. I would not be sitting here at goal weight, which I'm a little over goal weight, but that's a whole other story, without tracking. Tracking did it. Accountability did it. So if that's what I have to do for the rest of my life to stay here, I'm not going to complain about it because it could be way worse. I don't want to be back there saying to myself, if only I tracked. If only I tracked. All I had to do was track. And here I am having to lose 25 pounds. Nobody wants to go back in, in weight loss mode. We don't. We're in maintenance. We want to enjoy being here. That's what you have to do. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you track. And I hope I, I want to enlighten or now in, in, what's the word I'm looking for? Inspire you to, to like tracking and to, the more you do it, the more, I'm telling you, the more you'll just automatically do it. It will become second nature if you allow it. If you keep fighting and keep complaining, yeah, it might not. But if you sit there and just, you know, keep doing it, it's like anything else. You will just, you'll automatically just pick your phone up. It just like nobody's business. So I want that to be, you know, your future. And I want you guys to enjoy maintenance and enjoy your journey and enjoy the rest of your life. And Someday we may lose our memory and we might not remember to track. Those you can't help. So the fact that you can remember to track is a good thing. So as you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, there's a subscribe button right down there. I would love for you to be part of the Dish with D community. I have a Facebook group. I go live every night. Come join us for a little tea with D. We have chats and we talk kind of like off the cuff like this. And... If you have a comment about tracking, leave it in the, in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Always enlightens me to hear your opinion. But thank you for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, or year, whenever you get to watch this. And we will dish another day, folks. Bye-bye.